tie. Thanks. Holiday surprises should be fun, not a guessing game that ends up in disappointment. If you're lost in the jungle of ideas for an old school BMX enthusiast, well fear not because we've curated a list that screams nostalgia, thrills, and BMX love. And if you're a BMX enthusiast yourself watching this, I'm sure you'll come away with a few cool ideas that you can share with your loved ones. You know, just to avoid the dreaded tie situation that we saw earlier, or even better yet, share this entire video with them and then sit back and then let the surprises come to you. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. BMX riding is an art. It's sort of a personal journey. And with that in mind, it's really hard to pinpoint down what parts a rider might want for their bike, especially because everyone's style is so unique. But don't worry, this list is packed with universal treasures that any old school BMX rider would be thrilled to receive as a gift. You might need to play detective to figure out what their shirt size is or what their favorite brand is, but that's part of the fun, right? So I've got a bunch of really cool ideas that I've grouped into categories. And then each category, I've got a chapter in the menu system below so it's easier for you to kind of skip around and then for each item we talk about I'll have a link in the description below none of these are affiliate links or anything I wouldn't be making any money off of this this is just some really cool stuff that I thought I'd share with you guys and so with that out of the way let's dive in and get rolling all right kicking it off with our first category which is going to be artwork and memorabilia and the first entry here is going to be this book concrete and smog by Bill Batchelor I got this about a year ago this is one of my favorite books ever it is full of so many really really cool pictures from uh, photos from back in the mid 80s that Bill took himself uh, when he was a teenager. Uh, all of his time spent in Southern California, mostly in uh, Upland Pipeline uh, skate park area, some really cool stuff. And then also on his website, he's got a lot of cool prints and posters that are relatively cheap, some really awesome shots. I've actually got a couple hanging on my wall back there. But yeah, Bill Batchelor's uh, 80s uh, photography is really cool. Next up, we've got some artwork and merch from the legendary Damian Fulton, who is the illustrator behind the iconic Radical Rick comic character that was uh, featured in the BMX Plus magazines from the late 70s, I think it was 1979, all the way up to 1993. And on his website, he's got a lot of really cool prints and artwork, as well as uh, merch like stickers and hats and shirts and stuff. And then coincidentally today, he's releasing a new book that's Radical Rick, The Complete Episodes, which compiles all of the, the old comic strips from the magazines into a single book. And that's coming out today. I think he's got a limited number of copies. So if you're interested in it, I wouldn't wait. But yeah, I'm personally going to be getting this one on my holiday list and I can't wait to get it. All right, next up, we've got the BMX Action Magazine. This is one of the most iconic magazines from back in the day, back in the 70s and 80s. It went out of print a number of years ago, but it was recently last year kind of brought back to life um, under bmxaction.org. And on their website, they've got some really cool old school uh, BMX action uh, mem memorabilia, uh, shirts and hats and keychains and whatnot. So if you've got a BMX enthusiast who is really into it in the late 70s and early 80s, this might be the ticket for them. Okay. There's a ton of other things we could talk about in this category, but let's keep it moving. Uh, this last one I want to mention here is uh, these Donruss uh, BMX trading cards back from the 80s. I collected these when I was a kid. I had a whole bunch of them. I loved them, but I never got a full set. But the cool thing is, is that you can get these packs unopened on eBay for just a few bucks plus shipping. And if you watch, you can usually find a complete set of mint cards for anywhere between 25 and 50 bucks. I paid about 25 for this set last summer. It turned out it was going to be easier or cheaper just to buy a full set than it was to kind of piecemeal the piece uh, the different cards that I was missing from my original collection. And, and these are really cool. They've got a bunch of cool riders, a lot of the old iconic both racers and BMXers and cards from all the different brands. So to me, these are really awesome. They're great memories, great nostalgia. And before I kind of picked up the complete set, if my family would have picked this up as a relatively cheap Father's Day present or Christmas present, I would have been totally stoked for these. So I'm sure your uh, BMX enthusiast would be too. Okay, so category number two, we're gonna call it just miscellaneous accessories for bikes. Like I said earlier, it's really hard to pick out uh, parts for a rider's bike just because everyone's got their own unique style. But something that's pretty universal are flight BMX. Uh, everybody loves to have pads on their bikes, especially if they were like an old school racing bike. Um, number plates, same deal with the racing bikes. And then on their handlebar grips, there's the old school donut. And so flight has been making these things since the 80s. And what's cool is they've got a lot of really cool uh, themed uh, sets that go along with different brands or bike styles 
styles, even things for like Van Halen style or whatever, or the old movie Rad. So there's all kinds of really cool ideas that you might pick out for your old school BMX fan there as well. Okay, so this next one in the category is gonna be a little bit of a sleeper. If you decide to go down this route, I'm sure you're gonna get mega bonus points for it. And these would be custom uh, dice shaped valve caps from uh, Mr. Dice Guy. Mr. Dice Guy has a, some really cool uh, content on Instagram. He makes these really cool custom uh, dice shaped, you know, valve caps, um, all different uh, colors, uh, different brands, different designs, some that are really popular in the 80s that are super hard to find now. And so if you've got an enthusiast who loves a certain brand like Hutch or Redline or GT or whatever, Mr. Dice Guy will have a uh, cap, valve caps that match that bike in all different colors. And so if you were to pick these up, you would get major bonus points. Plus he's got some uh, the brake cable caps as well that go with those matched and a bunch of other cool accessories. So I definitely suggest you go check out Mr. Dice Guy. Okay, so this next category is gonna be safety and fitness. And it's such a wide thing that we're really just gonna narrow it down to one item. And that's gonna be Old Bones Therapy. Um, as many of us get into our 40s and 50s, we're getting a little bit of arthritis or maybe we've got an injury that's kind of lingering around for the years. And Old Bones has a bunch of different products, whether their knee braces or shin guards or compression uh, socks or whatever to help us kind of get back and do the best we can with our aging bodies. In my case, I sprained my knee really badly earlier this summer and I started off with this uh, cheap uh, Amazon uh, knee brace and eventually decided I wanted to upgrade. So I've got these Old Bones Therapy knee braces. Um, they're way better than the Amazon ones. They're, they're much longer. They've got more coverage. They're more comfortable. They just fit better. They don't slide around as much. And then they've got a really cool uh, gel pad to help keep your knee uh, from shifting. It kind of stabilizes it. So I'm really stoked on these. So if you've got an older rider who may be not in the, the best shape anymore, these would be an awesome gift for them. All right, so category number four is gonna be merch from iconic BMX riders. And it's really cool that so many of the most popular and iconic riders from the 80s are still around, still active in the community today. Uh, there's guys like Eddie Fiola, Martin Aparijo, uh, Bob Haro. They've all got sites with merch. There are some other riders like Mike Buff and R.L. Osborne who've had sites but don't really have merch today. And even others that have like some podcasts like Hollywood Mike Miranda. And so, yeah, maybe if we head over to the website uh, looking at uh, Eddie Fiola. So he He's over at Rad Designs uh, 1986. And on their website, he's got a book that he wrote when I was king. I read that book a, a year or two ago. It's a really great uh, kind of autobiography of his story. He's got a bunch of cool stickers and shirts and just all kinds of cool stuff. So definitely go check those out. Eddie Fiola, the king of the skate parks, just an iconic uh, character. So we've got another iconic GT legend, uh, Martin Aparijo, uh, the chairman. He also has a merch line on Rad Designs 1986. He's got a bunch of really cool shirts and uh, some like beer koozie and stickers and stuff. So definitely go check those out as well. And then of course, we've got the iconic Bob Haro, uh, the founder of the Haro Bikes. Obviously, he's one of the OG uh, BMX freestylers back in the day. And he's got a ton of merch on his website, whether it be some art that he's created, custom art, or a, a lot of t-shirts and hats, and just some, he's got a new line of shoes, some really cool stuff, but definitely go check out his shirts. Uh, he's got some really cool BMX shirts that I'm sure your enthusiasts would love as well. The first three iconic riders that we just talked about were all freestyle riders, but let's not forget about the BMX racers. There's a really cool podcast out there called uh, Dirty Knobs, and it's hosted by Hollywood Mike Miranda, as well as Eric Carter and Steve Vicente. And they've got a merch shop as well with a bunch of cool hats and shirts and stuff. So uh, if you've got any uh, BMX riders who are more into race than freestyle, then definitely go check this out. Oh wait, we can't forget about the movie Rad from the 80s, that uh, awesome BMX movie. It starred Bill Allen who played Crew Jones and Bill Allen is still around and engaged in the BMX community today. Uh, he's got a website called MyRadCareer.com. He wrote a kind of an auto autobiography book about his experiences with the movie. And on his website, he's got a bunch of merch. You can get signed stuff like the Blu-ray disc or the, the vinyl record from the soundtrack. Uh, you can get number plates. 
um, t-shirts and stuff. But you can also have him record a greeting for your loved one, which would be pretty cool. Or you could schedule like a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with him. And so if your BMX enthusiast is a fan of the movie Rad, definitely go check out Bill Allen's website. Okay, so the next category we've got is merch from our favorite YouTubers. If your enthusiast is kind of a middle-aged dude like the rest of us, chances are they're watching a lot of YouTube videos to get inspiration and get stoked, whether it's seeing other people uh, build up their bikes and getting ideas from it, or maybe following along as they go to bikes meets or swaps or events or whatnot. So the first one in this category is gonna be Sean from Rad BMX Builds. He's kind of one of the OG YouTubers in this category. He's been building a retro, a bike, so modern bikes, and he'll uh, make them look more old school, more 80s style. And then he also will take the vintage bikes that he finds and kind of restore them. But he's always doing something really unique and custom. It's really fun to watch and engaging. So I'm sure if your enthusiast watches any YouTube at all, they're watching Rad BMX builds. So definitely go check out Sean's site. Um, he's got a bunch of hats and shirts and stickers and stuff, some really great merch. So he's great to support. Okay, so the second one in this category is gonna be cruising in the 808 with Kevin and Bernie. Uh, they're out in Hawaii. And what makes their channel fun is that there are a couple of uh, guys who were friends as kids who have both recently gotten back into BMX in the last few years. And they go on a lot of adventures and even adventures building bikes. Uh, they It's a little bit of a challenge out in Hawaii getting parts. And then if they make a mistake, it's a little bit harder cor to correct than it is for us who can get something shipped in just a day or two. But uh, Kevin and Bernie are awesome. I highly recommend if you're not aware of them, go check them out and definitely check out some of their Ride with Aloha merch. Some really cool stuff. All right, so one honorable mention in this category, and that's really because they don't have merch available right now today, but I do believe they're getting some new shirts in. But that's Big Bike BMX with Isaac and Craig. They've got a lot of really awesome content on YouTube as well on Instagram. And so definitely keep an eye out on their Instagram account. If your uh, BMX enthusiast loves Big Bike BMX, they love these guys and and I'm sure they would love one of those new shirts too. Okay, so there's a lot of really cool ideas, but I didn't want to finish out the video without making a couple other mentions. And that's saying if you know that your enthusiast loves a specific brand like SE bikes or SM bikes or GT bikes or Haro or whoever, um, many of those sites will have their own merch, whether it's hats and shirts or stickers or whatever. So you might check those out. And then also, uh, there's several uh, BMX, online BMX shops that really focus on old school BMX. And you might find some really cool ideas there, but they have have such huge inventory and a lot of it is like we were saying earlier the bike parts and it's really hard to know what parts they actually need but they will have some merch and shirts and you know stickers and all kinds of stuff like that too so all right the first bike shop I want to mention is Planet BMX they're out of Jacksonville Florida uh, they've got a wide variety of parts for both old school bikes as well as more modern and retro bikes and so what's really cool about them is that they're the primary outlet for Skyway BMX, whether it be the old school mag wheels or frame and fork sets. But this year, Skyway's 60th anniversary, and they've got a bunch of cool hats and merch that kind of celebrate that. So you might want to check those out. And then the next one on the list is uh, Pork Chop BMX. And personally, I've bought a ton of stuff through them through the years. They're, I believe they're out of Georgia. They ship really quickly. Um, they've got a lot of cool parts, but they've got some stickers and other merch. You might check them out as well. And then the third one is BMX Guru. And I've also purchased quite a bit from uh, his shop. Um, they're a little probably less merch and more BMX parts, but you might shop there and see if you find something interesting as well. Okay, so those are three of my favorite online kind of old school bike shops and of course you've got your own uh, local bike shops that you can check out but really the point of this video wasn't so much about shopping for bike parts as it is the uh, getting into the nostalgia the artwork and memorabilia and just merch from kind of the icons and so that's where I focused this list. So hopefully you've got some cool ideas from it. If you're aware of anything that I've missed or any other cool ideas, please uh, share them down in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear about those. I'm sure anyone else watching the video would too. And so thanks for watching along. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys all have a great holiday season. It's gonna be here before you know it. All right, thanks, bye-bye.